Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab Al Fateh. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gdabia Palace the Minister of Education and the Chairman of the Higher Educational Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, and President of Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Khalid bin Abdurrahman Al Ohali. Dr. Khalid gave a detailed presentation about King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Medical City and briefed His Royal Highness on the detailed plans of the project and on the aspirations of the project stages. His Royal Highness directed that he the project be up to the title of the late King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness hailed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's support for Bahrain since the era of the late King Abdul Aziz bin Abdul Rahman Al Saud to the era of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz, commending the project which reflects the Bahraini Saudi cooperation. He also praised the preliminary detailed plans of the project. He expressed pride in Bahrain's hosting of the project that will support the government's programs of developing methods of treatment, expressing appreciation to Saudi Arabia for its support for Bahrain in various fields. The Minister of Education and the President of the Arabian Gulf University expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support for the project, which reflects his keenness on the development of the educational march, noting the support the university receives from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister.
Earlier in the day, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia today to meet with the Saudi leadership and hold talks on the deep-rooted bilateral relations and joint cooperation in addition to review regional and international issues as well as topics of common concern. Upon arrival in Riyadh, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was welcomed by Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness Prince Salman is being accompanied by a high-level delegation which includes His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, Ministers and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pleasure to visit Saudi Arabia for the support it gives to Bahrain which confirms the historic relations that are reinforced by the father and forefathers, confirming appreciation for Saudi's honorable stances towards Arab and Islamic issues. He said that the visit is a continuation of joint action to boost relations between the two countries and people. He expressed the pleasure to continue work and coordination with His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nayed and the heir of a Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz. Al -Saud. He said it is an important stage in the Bahraini Saudi cooperation that drives from the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, towards reinforcing integration. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad said the serious steps taken by the two countries to confirm the role of sustainable development, diversifying sources of income, and setting legislation that encourage investment is a shared vision that must be made use of to achieve the desired positive outcomes. He said the two countries share many aspects of integration and cohesion, confirming that existing joint cooperation is a model for for integration that all GCC countries aspire for. He commended the vital role of Saudi Arabia in supporting GCC action and role in combating terrorism and supporting joint security cooperation on the Arab and Gulf levels to deal with extremist ideology through leading the Arab coalition which confirmed GCC's capability in dealing with all challenges.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at King Saud Palace today. His Royal Highness Prince Salman affirmed that the historic Bahraini Saudi closeness reflects the nature of the relationship which has become a model for outstanding Arab to Arab relations. He asserted the mutual desire to develop fields of cooperation with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques and Saudi monarch King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness confirmed the appreciation of Bahrain's king government and people to the Saudi leadership for the support it receives as well as Saudi's honorable stances towards the kingdom. He pointed out that constant communication is an essential part of the excellent relations that reinforces strategic cooperation and contributes in helping each other to face all challenges. Prince Salman bin Hamad expressed pride in the role of Saudi Arabia within the Gulf Corporation Council as well as in leading joint action which helped in overcoming many challenges and dealing with numerous threats. This is in addition to its efforts in preserving the security and stability of the region and contributing in the international efforts in regards to combating terrorism. His Royal Highness wished the bilateral ties to further boost so as to reinforce joint cooperation for the best interest of the two countries and people. After the meeting, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad attended a lunch banquet held in his honor by His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of Saudi Arabia Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud held today wide-ranging talks at King Saud Palace in Riyadh. At the start of the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed his deep appreciation and gratitude to the Saudi Crown Prince for his gracious hospitality and warm welcome, which reflects the strength of the Bahraini-Saudi relations. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted the continued commitment to strengthening Bahraini-Saudi relations under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. During the session, both sides acknowledged the positive impacts made from the increased level of bilateral cooperation over the past decade and the significant achievements gained. Both sides then stressed the importance of working to build on these successes by establishing new mechanisms that would further enhance cooperation at all levels. Key areas of economic cooperation were also discussed, as well as measures to simplify investor registration processes. During the meeting, it was agreed that a dedicated office and team would be established at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to fast-track applications for Saudi investors and to implement electronic and logistic support system. Both sides also emphasized the important role the private sector plays in encouraging economic development and noted the need to further support the business community by providing incentives and commercial facilities. The streamlining of, of cross-border customs and passport operations regarding the King Fahad Causeway in particular was also discussed. The relevant entities in both kingdoms were instructed to accelerate the implementation of the single passport link between both kingdoms to further simplify the crossing of trucks to allow for a smooth flow of traffic across the King Fahad Causeway. Both sides also expressed their satisfaction with the high level of security cooperation between the two kingdoms, particularly in in regards to combating terrorism and supporting regional and international efforts to eradicate it at its source. Ways to further strengthen security cooperation were also discussed, particularly with regards to combating extremism and defeating terrorism. The Royal Highnesses also reviewed various regional and international developments during the session. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, and a number of senior ministers also attended the meeting.
In response to a directive from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the meeting focused on the swift implementation of a new single passports link system that will streamline travel across the King Fahad Causeway as well as new measures to establish an e gate system. The coordination meeting was also used to devise a comprehensive framework to help implement the recommendations around road transportation raised at the most recent GCC summit. Other areas discussed during the coordination meeting included the development of new vehicle lanes, a proposed upgrade to mechanisms for processing larger transit vehicles and further measures to increase the capacity of King Fahad Causeway and facilitate increased cross-border trade and movement. These measures will directly contribute to the shared economic goals within the vision of 2030 frameworks of both countries leading to shorter waiting times and bolstering the customs sector on both sides of the border. The coordination meeting is a positive example of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia's long-standing collaborative relationship that has supported significant business growth in both countries across a wide range of sectors. When it comes to the expression of unity in the Gulf, many people from outside the region do not really understand the importance of the move. This is not because of ignorance on their part, but rather because the GCC countries are already united through their beliefs, which are the way the GCC leaders govern their countries. We see an example of this solidarity and complementing way of rule when we take a closer look at the only two kingdoms of the Gulf countries, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain. Since the independence of the Arabian Peninsula from all their colonizers, the retaking of the land by the original tribes in it, there has been a relationship based on trust and familial tie. Some examples of the modern cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia lies in recent reactions to events and similar visions on the economical side. The two leaders of the kingdom are in constant contact reviewing regional and international developments and re-emphasizing always the importance to continue adopting initiatives to promote the GCC bloc and enhance further integration of its member states. This is especially important in order to develop efforts to confront challenges, not only because the kingdoms want to be prepared, but because the GCC bloc is actually facing challenges, especially from the outside. Saudi Arabia is the largest GCC country and the home of Islam's two holiest sites. It has always been the leader in issues that require defense of the interests of the GCC countries and people. Also, the relationship between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain has always taken on the role of the protectors of the Arab identity and the defenders of the Arab and Muslim dignity and unity. Events and deliberation programs such as Manama Dialogue have been established as platforms to discuss and resolve issues that might affect the region, maybe not directly, but eventually. Bahrain and Saudi Arabia have always boosted efforts to intensify the role of the Arab and Islamic nation as a global power with a political and economical weight. The political cooperation of the kingdoms and the rest of the GCC is one that will last forever, and to strengthen it, the leaders of these countries jointly focus on acting and reacting in unison to any threats that might encounter the bloc as a whole. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain International.
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competition of Their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's Cup for GCC Countries Falcon Owners was launched today. This tournament comes as part of the third edition of the Bahrain Falcon and Hunting Tournament held in Al Sabha area near Bahrain International Endurance. Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the wide participation of GCC Falcon owners that reflects their keen interest to take part in such competitions, which contributes to the success of this event. He also affirmed that the competitiveness demonstrated by the participants on the first day indicates their expertise and skills that qualifies them to take part in this tournament. He continued to commend the efforts of the President of the Supreme Committee of Bahrain Tournament for Falcon and Hunting. Khalifa al Garoud in preparing the competition site that serves the success of this tournament, in addition to the efforts exerted by various local and GCC based media organizations in the attempts of preserving traditional sports and inherent values. The tournament witnessed the participation of 96 Falcon owners from the GCC countries, as well as scores of spectators who enjoyed the high level of competitiveness. This competition shall continue until Friday. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized Bahrain Defense Force PDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to attend His Majesty the King's Military Cup tournament, which coincides with the 49th anniversary of BDF establishment. The national anthem was played, followed by a recitation of verses of the Holy Quran. After that, the Secretary of the Military Sports Federation, Navy Brigadier Nurman Rashid Al Hassan, delivered a speech in which he welcomed BDF Commander in Chief, noting the support given to military sports from the wise leadership and BDF officials led by Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed. BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed BDF's efforts to support and develop military sports. He concluded the ceremony by honoring the winners of the military cup activities. The Commander-in-Chief expressed appreciation to all participants, wishing them further success in upcoming championships. The event was attended by Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Lieutenant General Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, General Command Director, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General, Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi, as well as senior BDF officials. National Guard President His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa today patronized the conclusive activities of the 8th edition of the National Guard's Sports Day, marking the 20th anniversary of National Guard establishment. Upon arrival, His Highness was accompanied with National Guard staff, Director Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, where he was received by the heads of divisions and senior officers. The day's activities included the annual 42 kilometer distance military marathon on race, soccer cup matches, and other athletic events. National Guard President congratulated the National Guard affiliates on this occasion, expressing his pride in the National Guard affiliates, commending their efforts in carrying out their patriotic duties in the service of the homeland under the leadership of His Majesty the Supreme Commander King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In closure, His Highness handed the championship prizes to the two top winning teams.
Within the framework of the World Arab Horse Organization Conference Wahoo 2017, held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the championship competitions of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa, may his soul rest in peace, for the beauty of purebred Arabian horses, continued today at Bahrain International Endurance Village. The competition was attended by Deputy President of Wahoo Supreme Organizing Committee and Chairman of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Wahoo President Peter Bond, members of the organizing committee and participating countries delegations. Sheikh Faisal, along with the Wahoo President and some members of the organizing committee, honored the winning horses. Sheikh Faisal commended the level of Bahraini horses during the competition. He noted that the championship enhances competition between Arab horse owners, which is part of the international efforts exerted to preserve the pure breed of horses. He lauded the performances of the participating horses in the event. A press conference was held today by the General Directorate of Traffic under the patronage of Colonel Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa to discuss the achievements of 2016 and aspirations for 2017. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar was there and brings us more details in the following reports. The General Directorate for Traffic announced the completion of 2 million transactions successfully in 2016 and introduced its complete dependence on electronic payments, eliminating cash transactions. The positive impact of its newly imposed points penalty system and firm regulations in 2016 was revealed showing a 40% reduction in mortality rates compared to last year. Moreover, plans to ensure higher road safety and raise people's awareness in 2017 were also in discussion. We have to raise the, the awareness for Bahraini and non-Bahraini, for Arabic speakers and non-Arabic speakers. We have to raise the, the safety on road, uh, which is lead to drivers, to uh, passengers, and the user of motorbike and the bikes, and pedestrian as well. Nevertheless, advanced facilities have been introduced, such as the SMS service, where drivers can be notified on traffic violations through SMS messages by activating an e-key in the e-government portal, where the public could also benefit from all e-traffic services. A 40% decrease in mortality rates year on year and other great achievements were discussed in a press conference today by the General Directorate for Traffic. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities officially unveiled the 12th Spring of Culture program at a press conference held today at the Bahrain Fort Museum. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The exciting calendar planned for the 12th edition of the Spring of Culture Festival was unveiled at a press conference today by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, which will be held under the slogan, Our Year of Archaeology. We're delighted to be announcing Spring of Culture 2017. It's always a wonderful time of the year to hear about various institutions of art and culture and what sort of programming is in the pipeline. I'm especially delighted that uh, this morning we're at the Bahrain Site Museum and of course uh, at the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities we have uh, our year of archaeology. So it's fantastic to be uh, rooted in an archaeological site in a UNESCO World Heritage Site um, and it's wonderful to see the amount of people who have attended and we look forward to a fantastic spring of culture this year. The festival features a packed agenda of a diverse array of exceptional events and magical evenings that cover everything from archaeology to culture and art, including intellectual seminars, a lineup of Arab and international singers, theatrical performances and art exhibitions. It's an important part of the, 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 the social and cultural fabric of, uh, of Bahrain. Um, and it's fair to say that, that, that uh, not everybody outside of the Gulf uh, realizes just quite how vibrant uh, the cultural life of Bahrain is. Uh, and it, that happens all year round. Uh, 
Every, sing every single visitor who comes to stay with us uh, in the residence goes down to the Mohammed bin Faris house on a Thursday evening for the wonderful music that's there every single week. Um, but this is putting it all together and then adding the international flavor which makes Bahrain so different because Bahrain is always so welcoming. Uh, and so I know that we will have uh, uh, wonderful performers from many countries, including the UK, of course. The festival presents Bahrain's interest in cultural development and promotes cultural understanding and will kick off on the 1st of March, coinciding with the Arab Tourism Day and extends through the end of April. The festival is one of Bahrain's most important events as it highlights the kingdom's rich history and culture with events lined up from the world's most talented artists. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.